just open it up to any of you guys that just want to touch on this. It says, when and if, or if and when, is it right to talk about eternity and hell when evangelizing? Where does it, when is it? Fire and brimstone, Benny. I don't know. I think the question is, when is it not right? Yeah, uh, I mean, the, the, the reason we evangelize is because we are consciously aware of eternity and, and heaven and hell. And, and if we lose sight of that paradigm and lose sight of that reality, uh, we, um, I, I promise that eventually you'll, you'll lose your fire for evangelism. You know, people, uh, it, it's not going to sustain us to be excited about growing our church. You know, it's not going to sustain us to, uh, to be excited about, um, you know, being able to, to encourage, you know, or inspire somebody's life. But the, the, the conscious awareness of the eternal is a thing that, uh, that, 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 that sort of blows wind in our sails and, and, and keeps us going, is, is that we're, we're aware of the fact that um, we may never, they, they may never get another opportunity to hear the gospel. They may never meet another Christian. I remember years ago, uh, a young man in, in um, Waco, Texas, in the United States. We met three people. My wife and I met three people and uh, stopped and shared the gospel with them. And, and I asked if I could pray for them. And two of them said, yeah, that'd be awesome. And one of them said, I don't want your prayer. I'm my own God. And uh, so we, we prayed for the two that, that were willing to, to receive it. And, uh, and the three of them left to drive home, 16, 17-year-old kids. And, uh, and on the way home, uh, they were in a car accident. They, they flipped the car. And the boy that, that told me he was his own God died uh, about a half an hour after he said that to me. And uh, God, I just, I spent the next week, week just weeping for that boy, for his family, for his friends. And uh, I've told that story, I don't know how many times, and, and, it, and it never ceases to break my heart because there that he didn't get another chance. He didn't he didn't have the opportunity to get his life right after he got married or after he graduated high school or uh when he had kids, he didn't um he didn't get the chance to go try try out churches in his city and figure out which one fit the best or, or which made him feel the most comfortable. I was the last God's desperate last invitation to this boy. God's last opportunity for mercy for this boy. And um, and I, I, I tell that story because um, the reality of eternity and the nearness of eternity have to be central to the evangelistic lifestyle. And if we miss those things, if we forget those things, we're going to think that, that evangelism is about growing our churches, and it's not about growing our churches. It's about saving people. It's about seeing people saved from, from the wrath of God that is coming for sin. It's about seeing people saved from, from the reality of an eternal hell in which there are no second chances and there are no do-overs. So my, I, I, just, I feel I'd just like to pray for you. Um, Father, I, I pray that you would just burden us as your church with the severity of, of, of judgment, with, with the reality and the weight of eternity, God. Make it something that is, that is ever in the forefront of our minds. Make it something that is always on our, on, our, on our hearts, God. Don't ever let us lose sight of eternity. Don't ever let us lose sight of the reality of, of heaven and hell. And fathers, we are sharing with people. God, please don't, please don't ever let us preach a self-help gospel. If you follow Jesus, you're going you're gonna to be happy and, and healthy and, 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 and life is going to be fun and comfortable for you. But God, please let us, let us be bold enough to preach the, the truth of the eternal gospel that is able to sustain us, that is able to carry us through for all eternity. Hallelujah. God, we love you. Please keep our eyes on the big picture, the eternal picture. Give us eternal vision in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, so don't be afraid to share heaven and hell. 
I, we don't need, I don't need to scare people into believing. They need to fall in love with Jesus. But um, when, I, when I realize the seriousness of what I was saved from, it makes me love him even, even more.